Colombia. Bueno, aquí comíamos. Pero dice, el resto es Ah, una especialidad es que Colombia. Ah, Colombia. Peligroso lo que le estoy haciendo ahora con la cámara. Yo guys, what's up? So, I know I am against the sun, so let me turn around a second so you guys can see me better. So guys, last night, last video was insane. I know, that was not what I was planning, but I was already, I was, <coughs> I was already out on the street and that was my only night in Atlanta. I only had one chance to do this so i was like you know what i came the reason why i came on that day was because i wanted to make this nightlife video in havana so i was like you know what i'm doing it so we'll talk about it more today but today we are just today we're it's a more it should be a more chill video it should be a more well hopefully uh hopefully always with precaution but it should be a more chill video today because we are just going to do a normal daytime real street video so hopefully it'll go without a problem right now it's 10 a.m and uh, we are in havana cuba havana cuba and we are just gonna go around a little bit in the old Havana, the old town center. Gonna go around a little bit. Uh, probably gonna check out a little bit um, the more hood side, the more lo where the local lives. Gonna probably check out the two sides because this is the touristic side. Later on, we're gonna go to the more like hoodish side and stuff. So. My plane is leaving <coughs> today. This is my last day in Cuba for now. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what it do. We're gonna see what there is to see. It's my first day in Havana that I'm actually outside on the daytime. So we're gonna discover it together. This is gonna be my first impression. And we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to see, we're gonna try to see if we, can, if we get into anything. All right, so let's get it started so this is so different from whatever that was last night i'm telling y'all like last night last night uh i was that was the honestly the i think that was the most the most like worried i was during a video like seriously i think that was the most worried I've ever been making a video. But I was I was here. I was already here. And let's let's talk about like the safety aspect. Because a lot of people that I interviewed and stuff, especially in Varadero and stuff, told me how safe Cuba was. And how like you know that there was no real danger and that you know it was calm and safe and i said that i felt safe a lot of times many times i said that but last night i was you know i was pretty worried about a lot of things and i was like a little bit stressing out a little bit as you guys saw so maybe you guys are like i thought that he said he was safe I thought he said it was it was it was like it was calm and now it was like super worried about everything like what's going on so here's what I got to say like you know like the thing about safety and stuff right 
is that you're not going to be doing what I'm doing right now. You're not going to be doing what I'm doing, what I was doing last night. Unless you're stupid like me. You're not going to be doing that. You're not going to be walking around at 2 a.m. on a Sunday in Central or Havana or probably, hey, how are you doing, man? Bueno, como estas? Estoy haciendo un video sobre Havana. Estoy de un YouTuber. <laughs> ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Hansel. Ah, no es mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, Hansel. Entonces, ¿cómo es la zona de Havana? ¿Quién puede ir? Contento, contento. ¿Sí? Es tranquilo. Tranquilo, muchas, muchas chicas. Muchas chicas. <laughs> ¿Y de la seguridad? ¿Cómo es? Bueno, Él está hablando con el chico en La Habana. Yo vivo aquí para todos ah, los okay. colombianos. Bueno. En Cuba no violencia, a chingar. Muchas mujeres lindas. Y para su familia, mucha salud y mucha suerte. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Mucho gusto. Mucho, mucho gusto, amigo. ¿eh? Gracias. Y um, gracias por la información. ¿Quieres, no, ¿quieres no, compartir un mensaje sobre Cuba a la gente? Un mensaje si quieres. No, no, no. Todo bien. Gracias. So, yeah, as you can see, people are nice, you know. But, like always, you know, of course, you always gotta exercise precaution, but that doesn't mean isolate yourself from the whole world. You know, like last night, <coughs> last night was a very different situation. Sí. Yo vivo aquí, yo vivo aquí. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Te conto la de mi señorita. ¿Cómo? Conozco toda la chica. Ah, ok, ok. Toda la chica de Cote. Es Ingrid. Oh, ah, yeah, ya, yeah. ya. Inglés. Inglés. Ah, ok. Inglés, Francia. Ah, oh, ok. Alemania. ¿De dónde estás? Colombia. Colombia. Yo no estoy en Colombia. Sí, yo creo que estoy en Colombia. Colombia, Sí, Colombia. Are you talking Cali, Bogotá, me ahí? Yo estoy, yo no hablo muchas palabras, muchos idiomas. Sí, pero yo no estoy en Colombia, Colombia. Sí, estoy de Colombia. ¿De qué parte de Colombia? Medellín. Cali, Medellín. Cali, Bogotá, Medellín. me ahí. Ah. Gracias, amigo, yo voy a ir. Nos vemos. Mira, yo vivo aquí. Ok. Yo no lo estoy aquí. Okay. Ah, okay. Bueno, gracias, amigo. Gracias. No, gracias. No, 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 está bien. No, 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 gracias, amigo. Bueno, bye. So yeah, guys. He was back. He was back. I told y'all. I had to take a turn because I didn't want it to go too far. You know, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is crazy. It's crazy out here. And this is 10 a.m. So you would imagine that the malarkey would be at a minimum. And I'm sure it might be at a minimum, but malarkey. Hola, como estas? Bien, bien. Bien, Sí, 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 buen día. Sí, gracias. ¿Cómo te llamas? Tenaida. ¿Cómo? Tenaida. Tenaida. Mucho sí. gusto. Eddie. Tenaida. Mucho gusto. Mucho ¿De gusto. Dónde? De Colombia. Ay, Colombia. Sí. Buenos días. Bye, bye. No, gracias. Sí. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I'm trying to show y'all what there is to show y'all. But there's a lot of craziness going on right now, you know? And I told you, it's 10 a.m. Malarkey should be at a minimum. <coughs> but 
but it seems that uh, it seems like even the minimum of malarkey here in Havana is still malarkey. So let's see what else we can get into. I'm gonna turn around and check out what's going on on the other side. Cause we already been here. I was just trying to avoid, 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 avoid this dude. This, uh, avoid our new friend. Cause I mean, enough was enough, but we're gonna go around and check out what there is to see on the other side. I finished that street and then we're gonna go to uh, the more local spot. So let's go. Hey, I got a new friend here and her name is Evelyn, see? Okay, I have a new friend, her name is Evelyn. We are still in Havana, Cuba. And she's gonna share, us, share with us some information about the zone. So, Havana, uh, Evelyn, ¿Qué tal la zona de Havana, Cuba? ¿Dónde estamos ahora? Ahora mismo estamos en el Parque Santiago. Parque Santiago. Ah. Central. Central, ok, ok, ok. ¿Qué tal esta zona? ¿Es peligroso? ¿Es seguro? ¿Cómo? Eh, bueno, las dos cosas. Las Según dos. Peligroso. ¿Peligroso y, y seguro? Las dos. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, ah. ¿Qué, ¿Cuáles son las buenas cosas para hacer en esta zona? ¿Eh? Como la vida nocturna, bailar, tomar, comida. ¿Qué? ¿Cuáles son, ¿cuál ah, son los... todas esas cosas? Sí. Todas esas cosas. ¿Y tienes un mensaje que quieres compartir a la gente que no conoces Cuba? Un mensaje, tal vez una misconcepción que tú quieres como co correctar o algo así. ¿Hay, algo El que... mensaje que yo le puedo dar a tu abuelo. Sí. Que vengan a Cuba. Ajá. Uh -huh. Que es muy linda porque hay que ir con dinero. No acá. Ajá. Es su amiga. Hola. Sí. <laughs> Entonces, y que hay muchas chicas lindas que quieren irse para allá, que vengan a buscar chicas para que se las lleven. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Y ¿Quieres compartir tu Instagram con la gente o quieres ser anónima? ¿Qué quieres? Eh, ¿Quieres que la gente te siga en Instagram? ¿O ahí nomás, sí. ¿Sí? Ok, ok, claro. ok. Entonces, guys, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you guys the Instagram, it's gonna be up there. Follow her, support her. Entonces, sí, habla. ¿Quieres compartir tu Instagram no, también? Uh, no, anónima. Ok, so guys, I'm gonna see you all later. Chao. Okay guys, so we are continuing and these girls were like, they were telling me, it's dangerous. What are you doing right now? It's dangerous. You have to be careful. They didn't even want to take out their phone to give the Instagram. So, because they said that, you know, they didn't want to get robbed and stuff. So, the two sides of Cuba, I guess. You know, I said, is it where we are now that is dangerous? And they were like, no, it's dangerous, period. You get robbed, they take your phone, they take your camera. Hmm. It's very interesting because honestly, this, I would think, is so close to where the tourists are that it would be one of the safest area, but seemingly it isn't, or maybe it is one of the safest area in Havana. And I think that, I think that it seems like Havana is one of the hot spot for malarkey to be happening. So, <coughs> y'all remember this street? Y'all remember this street? This is the street that we were at yesterday. And this is the park that we were at last yesterday night. And now it's looking a lot less dangerous, a lot less shady. But nevertheless, people are telling me that, yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty, this is a hot spot. This is a hot zone. So, if the you know you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta pay attention to what the local people are telling you. You know, if a lot of locals are telling you that it's dangerous and that you should be careful about something, you should probably do so. So, 
I'm being, I'm being careful, but I'm still gonna do what I do. You feel me? Still gonna do what I do. I wanted to check out this other street over there, um, and then I want to I want to show y'all a little bit more about like the more hood part that's like close to actually where I was staying last night because I only stayed one night. Okay, I want to show you this street right there. Very different from anywhere I've seen, anything I've seen before, very different, you know? This is the real Havana. No doubt, this is the real Havana, guys. It's early in the morning still. Kind of early. Some people are spotting the camera, some people are not. We better take our chances. But there's a lot of activity, for sure. There are a lot of people up to a lot of things. This is not at all. I'm totally out of the tourist area right now. This is purely local vibes, purely local people doing the thing in the morning. As you guys can see, my voice is coming back and you know, I think it was, I think the voice thing was the inn, hotel, AC, cold temperature, and then going to the beach, going to the pool, going in the water, then going back to AC, going back to the Going back to water. Hmm. I wonder what this line is about. Hmm. I wonder what this line is for. Let me, I'm gonna ask. This line is for what? This line is for what? So yeah, long line. And I feel like. Hello. Gracias, Emilio. Gracias. Yeah, I'll see a lot of the long lines are actually for food and stuff. Now, this is a line I think that's for the internet, maybe, because that's a company for internet. But as you guys can see, and this is not for a five-story dining experience that they're lining up. I think it's just for some affordable food to eat for them and their family. And I think they gotta go early in the day before it's over. Cause the situation here is kinda crazy. I'm telling you. And from what I hear, from what I hear in Nirvana, it's even crazier than, well, a lot crazier than Varadero. And in Varadero, I wasn't even able to find, uh, y'all don't want to know what I wasn't able to find. <laughs> it's nothing bad, I'm just saying, there's a lot of normal necessities that sometimes I have trouble finding. <sighs> I'll leave it like that. But let me get back into the main road. I want to show y'all the main road where the tourists go and chill and 
all the Cuban cars. We're literally doing the two sides of Cuba, Havana, right now. So we're going to head back to the main road. I'm going to show you all this, the classic street with all the antique cars and all that stuff. And after that, uh, I'm going to show you all another more like local street vibe type of area so oh we have like a sort of Chinatown here what's going on here or, uh, we have like some Chinese symbol but yeah all right let me get back to the main road and show y'all these empty cars and taxis and stuff and I'm gonna be right back with y'all all right So guys, this is literally just turning a corner. This is literally just turning a corner. Like, I, I, that's one minute from where I was before. I just turned the corner, walked one minute, and then this is what you see. This is what you'll see. Uh, this, is abs this is the capital, oh, okay. This is the capital, like the capital building. Look at this. I don't remember seeing such a gorgeous building <coughs> in Canada. I'm sure there might be, but this is like some Greek. This is some Greek, like Zeus type of vibes. This is absolutely gorgeous. So, the two sides of Havana, I guess, right? Absolutely. Absolutely crazy, absolutely gorgeous, and look at that one too over there. Wow, crazy, but that's the two sides of Cuba, I guess. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely. Hola, como esta? ¿Qué es eso? Este edificio, ¿cómo se llama? El Capitolio. Este cap es muy linda. ¿Cómo te llama? Melissa. Mucho gusto. ¿Estás colombiana? ¿Estás colombiana? Eh, Cuba. ¿Cubana? Cuba. Ah, oh, ok, esto es un poquito, un poquito confundo. Yo estoy haciendo una... ¿Qué, qué tipo de información puedes compartir sobre la zona en Habana? Acá. ¿Cómo es? ¿Es seguro? ¿Peligroso? No, no, es seguro. ¿Es seguro? Unas personas dime que ah, es peligroso lo que estoy haciendo ahora con la cámara. No, no. No es. Ah. ¿Y cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Um, ¿Cuál es la parte de, de Cuba o de Habana que es la más segura? ¿Es este? Bueno, sí, casi todo. Casi todo. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, muchas gracias, eh. Bye, muchas gracias. So, guys. Yeah. You all heard it. Interesting that some people have very different opinions and point of views on what's dangerous, what's not dangerous. Ah, I don't know. I don't know what to think, to be honest with you. I really don't, but we made it to the antique cars that I wanted to show you guys. So let me show you guys what these cars look like. So these are like cars you can use for taxis and stuff. I would have done a, a cool B-roll sequence but I'm running out of time because I'm gonna have to catch a plane pretty soon out of here. And right now I'm walking halfway in the streets, but y'all get to see what y'all get to see, right? 
and then you got like you got like one of the hubs, touristic hubs. And guys, let me tell y'all, I'm a guys that's I'm gonna show y'all later where I stayed, where I stayed last night. Because yo, last night was insane. The prices they want to try to charge me for a hotel for one night. A hotel that didn't look like the fanciest hotel in the world. It looked like a regular hotel. They were trying to charge me $430, $450. Gracias, Navarro. Como? Un recorrido por la ciudad en coche clásico. Ah, ¿y cuánto vale eso? Una hora, este es mi coche. Una hora por los principales puntos de la ciudad sería 40, una hora. Una hora. Es por tiempo. 40 dólares. 40 dólares, estamos acá en Capitolio, vamos por el barrio chino, el único barrio chino en el mundo que no tiene chino. Jardín Botánico, Plaza de la Revolución, Cementerio Cristóbal Colón, Parque Obrero y después retornamos por todo el malecón. Okay. Paramos en la fábrica del tabaco, paramos en la Plaza de la Revolución y paramos en el malecón de, de La Habana. Okay. Una hora, cinco, diez minutos. Y 40 dólares. 40 dólares. Okay, okay. Y con música tradicional cubana. Ah, ok. Esta y... <risa> oh, no hay, no hay más. Okay. No hay más, no hay más. Estás acá todo el día, todos Estamos los días. Estamos acá todos los días, todo okay, el día, okay. todos los días. Ok, perfecto. Yo voy a intentar regresar un poco porque yo voy a comer y tal vez un poquito más tarde yo voy. Sí, ¿Comer yo voy. tan temprano o muy tarde? Desayuno. ¿Desayuno tan tarde? <risa> Pero, ok, mi amigo. ¿Cómo te llamas? Luis, Luis. Luis. Bueno, bueno. Luis. Bueno. Si quieres, porque hay una. Sí, porque es caro. Porque tengo muchos seguidores, tal vez quieres. Mis seguidores quieren hacer un tour contigo. Ajá. ¿Cómo pueden co como contactarte? No, ¿Hay manera? ¿O a, buscarte? A, actualmente no tengo página web. Yo tenía una antes de la pandemia, pero la perdí. Ah, ok. Entonces... Y, yo, y yo pertenecía a TripAdvisor. Yo estaba, es decir, yo fui aceptado por TripAdvisor. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Pero bueno, tendría que retomar esa página web. Ah, ok. Entonces. Eh, Nada, puedes visitar la Habana, a la Habana, escoger el coche, el color que quieran. ¿Quieres mostrar tu carro? Entonces, eh, mis seguidores, pueden es tu carro este. ¿Sí? Este es mi coche. Guys, so un this Dodge, is... Un Dodge modelo coronel del año 58. Ah, ok. Con so, motor V8. So guys, this is the car here. So, this is a good guy. Es una buena hombre. Uh, come here, in this zone. ¿Cómo se llama este zone? Parque Central. Parque Central. Al frente de los hoteles Inglaterra. Ok, and find him, and then you can get a, a tour for one hour in this nice antique car. One hour, two hours, one hour, three hours, two hours, three hours, three hours, or, hours or, or, day. or the whole Whatever day if you, you want. want. Whatever you want. So guys, make sure you check him out. <laughs> and this is, what's your name again? Luis. Luis, which is Eddie. Ok, nice to meet you guys. So tell him that you, that I sent you here. Ok. okay. Bye. Muchas gracias, okay, amigo. Vale. Tal vez nos vamos. Disfruta Cuba. Okay, gracias, amigo. Colombia. Colombia. Colombia, Colombia. <laughs> También. <laughs> All right, guys. So, you know. The car was nice, though. The car was nice. The car was very nice. So, guys, we're going to turn a corner. And I'm going to show you all a little bit of a little bit more of the <coughs> real streets and this is actually the area where i stayed that i was able to find that i was able to find a place to stay and i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all what it's like and at the end of the video i'm gonna tell y'all how much i paid because i don't think i said it yet so you see, just turn the corner from before, and this is what you find. This is what you find. I literally, I just turned the corner. That's all I did. Y'all seen it. That's yes, I knew. I just turned the corner, and this is what you find. So, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit. Of the area. Of the 
This is where I stayed. This is where I stayed. Y'all can see the vibe are very different. All I had to do was turn the corner and then this is what you find. Crazy, shocking. I am, I need to go pretty soon to catch that plane if I don't wanna miss it. You know, I need to go pretty soon. I want to show y'all this more local area. I'm reporting both sides, guys. That's all I'm doing. I'm reporting both sides. I'm not gonna show you just the nice side. I'm just not gonna show you just the less nice side. I'm gonna show you all everything. So, I'm gonna get into my hotel or my Casa Particular. I'm going to show you all what it looked like. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to tell you how much it cost. And I'll resume the last vlog, I believe. And there's some major development happens, which very well might. But I'm going to show you all. Uh, I'm going to show you all the... the I'm going to show, I'm gonna show you all what there is to see. I'm going to show you all the... the it's called a Casa Particular. And this is where you go if you don't want to pay these crazy hotel prices. And sometimes also you got hotels that are for tourists and you got hotels that are for local people. So you got to choose. You're not going to let you get a hotel that is for local people if you're a tourist. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and we're going to see what it do. Guys, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist going through that street that we saw earlier. Because that other street looked like the real street to Cuba. It's a short street, but I couldn't resist it. People calling me, but I'm good. I'm good. I couldn't resist it. I had to show y'all. So, oh, you got here. This one, I'm not gonna go. Like I said, you gotta follow your instincts. Sometimes it's a go, sometimes it's a green light, sometimes it's a red light. When you feel a red light, just listen, just listen. Don't need to take too many unnecessary risks, you know, that are not going to make that much of a difference in the end. So guys, this time I'm out for real. I'm gonna show you all where I was sleeping at last night. And that'll be the end of the video. For real this time. So guys, let me get in and I'm gonna be right back with you. Okay, so I made it back here. So now I gotta pick up my stuff real quick and get out of here, head to the airport before I miss my flight. But you see, these are places, Arendalor, Divisa. This logo means that they have rooms for you that you can use. So mine is in one of them. I'm gonna get in show y'all real quick and that'll be that so sorry it's a little bit of a mess y'all know i never do these videos when i first arrive because 
something just flew over my head right now. I have no idea what that was, but anyways, y'all know I never do these videos before I arrive. Like when I arrive, it's always the next day or whatever. So this is what we're working with. And uh, check this out. So, sorry for the mess, this is my bags that I'm traveling with. So this is what you get, you know? You have the entrance. You have me. Uh, this, I don't know if there's, I don't think there's a window or anything like that. Let me see. Uh, oh, well, there is kind of a window that points outside. Okay, cool. Um, got a TV right here. Got a fridge. If I were to stay a few days, that would be perfect. A little fridge. Uh, <coughs> two beds. So normally, you know, there could be two people living here. So there could be two travelers living here, or it could be two friends. Uh, I'm going to tell you how much it costed for me, solo. So, and without anybody else in the room with me. <sighs> Towels and the bathroom. Got a couple of fans, which is cool because you have an AC unit right there. So that's cool. <sighs> and... The bathroom, so, you know, simple, nothing crazy fancy, but it gets the job done, you know? And so, how much that place was? Before I say it, drop in the comments, tell me how much you think it is per day, before I say it. So I'll give you five seconds, get into the comments, get into the comments, all right, so originally he asked me for $50 US. And I was like, nah, we ain't doing that. So he said 40. I said, we ain't doing that neither. So I negotiated to 35. I think that I could have negotiated probably for less, but I kept it at 35. So guys, I'm out of here. <sighs> Jumping in a plane. Going to the next destination. And over there, I'm just going to take it a little bit more easy. And just edit all these videos that I have to drop. And relax a little bit and rest. Because I've been going, going, going. Kind of crazy. Not too crazy, but kind of crazy. So I'm so hot right now. I'm sweating like crazy. And now i got to go get a Colectivo, which is a which is a taxi that fits many people. Well, I gotta go get a bus because I'm not doing a taxi for $35. We're not doing that neither. So Collectivo is like $4, $5, something like that. and can take me to the airport, but I gotta go now before it's too late because you, know, you never know when they're gonna arrive. So I gotta leave early. And I also have to do my immigration stuff at the airport because I haven't done it yet because I didn't have the internet. So, this is the end of the Cuba series. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to see. I might make a live uh, maybe on the next Sunday or something. I might make a live where we'll talk about Cuba and answer your questions. And I might. I might. I'm going to see how it goes. But I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot to say. I have a lot of opinions and I have a lot of things on my mind. But we're going to keep it for the live if that happens. So, guys, let me know what y'all thought about the Kuwa series. Let me know what y'all thought about the real street of Havana, Kuwa. And uh, let me know where you want me to go next. All right. This was a crazy adventure. I need a couple of days to just relax and edit calmly. And then we'll see what else we get into. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. I appreciate y'all. I got a lot to say. So I think the live is going to have to happen. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Hit the like, subscribe, share. And I will see y'all in the next one. Right. Eddie was Hollywood. I'm out. Peace.